On big ranches, the cow hands take to the range for maybe weeks at a time, living out of a chuck wagon. Texas? A state that's been around for a long time, I guess. If you live here, you've heard it all before. The stereotypes of a true Texan. But are they true or false? If you're from Texas, I think you'll find this interesting because you'll learn a lot more about your state. And if you're not a resident, then too bad for you because Texas is awesome. But don't move here. They don't need any more people. So let's jump right in. A bunch of Texas stereotypes, fact or fiction, by a non-Texan. One lap to go. White flag sponsored by Credit One Bank. We're going to begin our fact versus fiction Texas breakdown here at a NASCAR race. That's pretty conservative, right? Now the question is, are Texans mostly conservatives as the stereotype claims? Well, sorta. As it stands now, Texas is about 53% conservative versus 43% liberal. The other 4% are non-affiliated or independents. So the answer is yes, but not as conservative as you might think. But if you look back at past political elections in the 100 years from about the mid-1800s to the mid-1970s, Texas was a very democratic state. It might surprise you that it took until about 1972 for the conservative party to become the dominant one here. Now there's been some ups and downs, but there hasn't been a year since 1976 that more people voted for liberal politics than for conservative ones. More recently, as Texas's demographics have changed, it's getting less and less red here. Except way out here in the sticks. They'll never give up their guns. And speaking of guns, there's a common belief that everybody in Texas has a gun. Well, not everyone here does. The current estimate is about 38% of the population owns one. I don't think that measures kids though. So I'm assuming it's 38% of adults because that would be a weird way to measure it. Now I couldn't find any data on how gun ownership in Texas has gone up or down over time. But from what I remember watching old Westerns, I think a long time ago, pretty much everyone carried a gun. It was the wild west after all. So I think it's safe to say less people have guns here now than in the olden days. When you compare gun ownership across different states, you can clearly see Texas is not that high. It's about 19th overall. States like Alaska, Arkansas, and Idaho have the most gun owners per capita. In Alaska, two in three people have a gun. And I think it might be safe to say there's more guns than people here. The state with the least number of gun owners? Delaware. So the prevailing wisdom that Texas residents are a bunch of gun enthusiasts is apparently not true. Although new state laws that just went into effect eased restrictions on where people can carry guns, so that might change a little bit. Church? School parking lots? Really? That's what it's come to? In the early 1960s, the movers and shakers of San Antonio planned the grandest fiesta ever to celebrate the city's 250th birthday. The 43-second ride up the tower in a glass-fronted elevator was a tummy grabber, and the observation deck allowed our first panoramic view of the city from on high. Is everything bigger in Texas? That's like their state motto, right? Actually, no, it's friendship. Okay, that's kind of basic. I thought Texas had an awesome state slogan. Here's a list of other state slogans, which are also pretty lame. Some of these aren't even in English. What the, what the? I think New Hampshire's live free or die is pretty good. Hope, really, Rhode Island? Okay, so while friendship is the official state motto here, everything's bigger in Texas is the unofficial slogan. But is that true? Now, while we don't have a way to measure every single thing in every single state to compare them to Texas's sizes, we can show some examples of how Texas likes to go big. Churches here are mega, as in giant. Joel Osteen, his audience looks like it's the same size as a damn basketball game. Trucks are big here. You know what they say, the bigger the truck, the smaller your hot dogs on the grill. But are the trucks in Texas bigger than in other places? Well, nobody can measure that. But Texas does have the second most pickups in the country, 4.2 million exactly. 
California has more total trucks, but those are big states. The best selling vehicles in the state of Texas are the Ford F-150 and the Chevy Silverado. It's not just conservative states that like trucks though. People in Colorado and Vermont have a lot of trucks too, and they don't vote red. Beyonce is from Texas. Her butt is big. Whataburger makes a big old burger. Okay, so is it Whataburger or Waterburger? This place has a 72 ounce steak. That's pretty big. Texas itself is huge. You could fit like 10 European countries inside of it. Brewster County is so big, the whole state of Connecticut could fit right in with room to spare. And some high school football stadiums are bigger than college football stadiums. And one of them, Allen Eagle Stadium in Allen, Texas, cost $60 million to build. Who paid for that? Speaking of football, there's a stereotype that everyone in Texas loves, football. Is that true? Well, no, because there is certainly one person here who doesn't like football. But when you're measuring sports TV watch time, West Virginia, Wyoming, and Pennsylvania watch the most sports overall. Look at this, Texas is all the way down to 43rd for total sports hours watched each week. And the most popular sport on TV here? Golf. I'll bet many of you in Texas didn't know that. Sure, high school football stadiums are packed on Friday nights, and in some cases entire towns shut down for Friday night lights. And on Saturdays, a ton of people here watch their college teams, and Sundays have crazed Cowboys and Texans fans glued to their sets. And Cowboy fans are so popular, they take up most of four states. But as it stands, football isn't nearly as popular here as you might think, or as the stereotype suggests. When I was through, a cow was still just a cow to David. But a cowboy like Jimmy York was something else again. And speaking of cowboys, this place is full of them, right? No, not really. Clearly, Texans are still the leading cattle ranchers in the country, where about 13% of all cattle are raised. Now, if you went back to the early 70s, the raw number of cattle raised in the state was massive compared to what it is now. Oil was also a big deal in Texas in the 70s and that number plummeted towards the beginning of the century, and now it's almost at that peak once again. So yes, cattle ranching and oil were a big deal in the late 70s and 80s, which helped define the Texas experience and was evident by the hit TV show Dallas, but Texas is less reliant on those industries today. And in the same vein, that also means less Texans wear cowboy boots and cowboy hats. The state is becoming much more urbanized, meaning the dress code here is much more mainstream. Howdy! I'm a Texan! <laughs> and thrilling for all! Partner for a real thirst quencher! Have some seven up! One common stereotype is that everyone in Texas has a southern drawl. Is that still true? Sure, back in the olden days, like in the 50s, the southern drawl was strong in Texas. But linguistic research has shown that the southern drawl has been filtered out of the state of Texas. That's because of a demographic change. More minorities are moving to the state and younger families are moving to Texas from places like Arizona, Nevada, and California, which means instead of hearing y'all at Whataburger, you'll hear more dude. Oh, yes. This map shows that the predominant Southern drawl isn't just in Texas either. It's a big part of the entire South, except West Texas. They speak Spanish there, JK. In the 1980s, linguists actually measured the Texas drawl and found that 80% of people in Texas had it. Now it's down to about a third of Texans. So the Texas twang isn't as twangy anymore. Unless you're way out in the sticks, the twang is still pretty strong there. A common misperception of Texas is that everyone here listens to country music. Well, that's not the case. Sure, there's a ton of people here who still blare Garth Brooks all day long, but a recent study on the most popular musical genres per state has indicated that Latin music is the most popular music here now. That's crazy. That study took into account the most live music performances and the types of music streamed online. The only southern state which still makes country music a priority is Alabama. There's a large pocket of America here where Alan Jackson still rocks the jukebox, as well as small pockets out west. Now across the nation, rock and pop are the most popular, with country music ranking third. Country 
is not nearly as popular in Texas as it once was. Jimmy happened to be the only cow hand around who carried a pistol, and a gun held the promise of Western adventure. Now, we talked about Texas's official motto being everything is bigger in Texas, but there's another second unofficial state motto too. Don't mess with Texas. So that begs the question, do Texans have more state pride than everyone else? Well, there's sort of an answer to that question. Gallup did a poll asking Americans a series of questions to determine which state's residents are the most prideful. Of all Americans, Texans claim Texas is the best state to live. No surprises there. Overall, though, Texas ranked fifth for state pride behind Montana, Alaska, Utah, why are they so proud, and Wyoming. The states with the least state pride? Rhode Island, Illinois, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Michigan? Really? That state's great. Now, of course, there are certain stereotypes of Texas we can't measure. Folks in Texas are supposedly more friendly and welcoming than in other states. We can't measure that. And there's a myth that everyone in Texas wants to secede from the Union. Well, you have small groups of these thinkers all over the place, I suppose, but they're not centered in Texas. So, Texas is a state with a lot going on, but it might be one of the most misunderstood places in the country, too. While certain stereotypes of Texas are sort of true, for the most part, most of them are outdated. As the demographics here continue to change, and industries shift, and people's tastes in music and clothing evolve, Texas is sort of not Texas anymore. Hopefully this helps Texans understand their own state a little more and gives outsiders a more accurate representation of one of our finest states. Now, if you're planning to move to Texas, don't embarrass yourself by showing up in a pair of boots and saying howdy to everyone you meet. You will not be tolerated. The end. Hey guys, if you learned something new or you just liked this video, make sure to like it. And if you really like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of our videos about what it's like to live in different places in America. Peace.